let's taste some wine. So uh, I got some feedback um, from uh, someone. Well, her name's Margot, but that's you know beside the point. And she said that um, I was maybe a little too close to the camera. So I moved back a little bit, so hopefully uh, this will be a little bit better. And also, since I was doing uh, these videos tonight, the lights behind me were somewhat distracting. So uh, instead of doing that at midnight, I'm actually going to be doing a little day drinking. Yeah. All right. So uh, this was kind of something cool that I thought uh, I should show you guys. So a customer asked me about this and ordered some of it. And... Um, and I hadn't tasted it in a long time, so I opened it up, and we did a little virtual tasting together so that, uh, uh, you know, we could make sure that the wine was actually tasting good. And, uh, and of course, I tasted it, and the wine was tasting amazing, so I relayed that to the customer that the wine was, you know, tasting amazing and that uh, he should buy it, so he did. Um, but this is the uh, Suertes del Marquez um, Cool which is 100% Listan Negro. So the grape variety is Listan Negro. And of course, it's a grape variety that you've never heard of because it's from the island of Tenerife, which is in the Canary Islands. It's a volcanic island that uh, they say it's the third tallest volcanic or the third tallest volcano in the world. You can only see the top of it, obviously. Uh, uh, you can't see what's beneath, but it goes way, way down, of course, to the uh, floor of the ocean. Um, and uh, just a little bit on top that you can see, uh, it's considered to be one of the, the one of the three tallest volcanoes in the world. I don't know why I'm telling you that because <laughs> no one cares. Um, but what's great about it is that it it's a red wine from Spain, from incredibly old vines. Some of these vines are over 200 years old. Um, it's fermented in concrete. It's native yeast fermented. Uh, there's almost no sulfurate bottling, so it's a completely 100% natural product. Um, and uh, with those uh, incredibly old grape vines, what's great about it also is that it kind of tastes like burgundy. Uh, it kind of tastes like red burgundy. So this is the Suertes del Marquez Cool. Um, you can see what the color is. It's really, really light. Um, the wines of Tenerife have become quite popular. Uh, over the last, I don't know, maybe 15 years, I used to work for another importer from Spain a long time ago who was the first person to import, uh, you know, wines from the islands uh, of uh, the Canary Islands. And back then it was an incredibly difficult sell because no one knew what they were and no one was interested. Um, but of course, in the 15 years since then, people have come around and so now they're starting to really get interested in these wines. But so... Uh, the flavor profile of this wine is it's got a little bit of that cranberry and a little soy sauce, uh, very similar to what you'll find in uh, Burgundy. But then, of course, it's got a little bit of a deeper color, a little bit of a deeper texture, um, and uh, the acidity of is is epic. Um, but you can see the color right here. I don't know if you guys can actually see that, but it's got that nice light color. Um, and... Uh, this is a project from a guy who, you know, dad started the project and then he took over and they've been saving all these little tiny plots of land uh, that are in the Valle de la Orotava and uh, saving all these incredibly old vines and now, of course, making this just really great juice. Um, and what's great about this also uh, is it's uh, very low alcohol. It's 11.5% alcohol. Um, and so if you do happen to want to uh, drink a whole bunch of it in the daytime, well, you know, it's not going to get you too messed up. Um, but this is also, uh, it's a fantastic deal. Um, it's from Bone Imports. Uh, you can find it, uh, well, I guess, I don't know, at your local retailer. Uh, you can PM me and I'll tell you where in L.A. you can find it. Um and uh, it's definitely making my day in this rainy day uh, much, much better. Um, and uh, it may not make my night much better because I think I'm going to be going to bed a little bit early. Uh, but it's making my day fantastic for sure. So anyways, cheers. Mm. Stay healthy out there. 
stay off the streets, treat yourself right, keep your family close.